everybody, it's Josie here. I am going to be doing a, a book review today. Um, so, I guess it's a smash or trash book review. And um, I, uh, I have some feelings about this one. So, generally, uh, like I said, I, I'm quite a positive person. And I know most of my book reviews are generally positive because I tend to pick books that I think I'll enjoy. Um, I don't purposefully pick books that I won't enjoy. So this one, I did pick and I thought, sounds fascinating, sounds interesting, I'm sure I'm going to love this. And it being Feminist Feb, I thought it would be a great book to read this month. So the book I'm going to discuss is this one over here, is Vox by uh, Christina Delsha. Now, this book, so the premise of this book is that women have... Been, so, so you're living in kind of a dystopian American society, so set in the US, where the kind of radical right-wing religion, religious kind of group, has taken over power of the states. And essentially we seem to have gone back to sort of the dark ages where women are considered inferior. Uh, there's a um, kind of a preacher in charge that leads this this movement, what they call a pure move movement, where um, they kind of their motto is is that man was made in the image of God, and woman was made uh, from man, so therefore woman is subservient to man. And the title Vox refers to the fact that women have to wear these bracelets on their arms that count the number of words they say per day, and they're only allowed to say a hundred words every day. Uh, they've had their passports taken away, uh, they are not allowed to work, so all the, the jobs have gone to men, um, and they have, no, have no access to books, they're not allowed to read, they're not allowed to go onto the internet. Really, all they're allowed to do is stay in the home, clean, cook, have kids, marry, that's your only purpose, that's what the only thing is that you're allowed to do. And it goes a step further where, as part of this Christian white ring, as you can imagine, uh, gay people as well are considered uh, an abomination. So either they are forced to convert and marry, or they're put in these, what I would term concentration camps for hard labor. Um, and any transgressions that that you might make against that. So if any woman is found to be to have a lover or or anything that the kind of government uh, and religious government deems uh, wrong, uh, you're you're again you're put in you're put away basically, and you have to be completely silent, um, not to be able to talk at all, and and you're tortured, and it's it's really it's horrible. And the premise is, is that it's only happening in the United States, so other countries. And in the beginning, she even says, oh, I bet the rest of the world is laughing at us. So it's an interesting premise. However, I have some problems with even just the plot premise. So first of all, uh, this has apparently been going on for a year. And I feel like while you know, it may be plausible, and obviously you're reading a novel and it's dystopian, so you do kind of suspend your reality a little bit. I find it remarkable that no one has, was fought against this, um, that other countries kind of went, oh yeah, look at the Americans, they've gone a bit nuts, we'll just let this happen. People aren't allowed to travel, so, so women, are all their past being taken away, they can't travel, they can't see their family, and the main character in this book, who I will say I did not like the main character, um, a bit like with, with what I was talking about in Rebecca, I found her quite spineless for the fact that she is meant to be this incredible, brilliant scientist. So you, your main character is a woman who was a neuroscientist and she, she was brilliant in her field, she's a doctor. Um, and now since this, is, this it has happened, um, she, she stays at home with her kids. Um, and she has, even though she has these moments, obviously, where she goes, well, this is wrong, this is not good. And you do get a little bit of her thought process where she remembers one of her friends at college who was very active in women's rights. And she kind of almost warned her, saying, look, if we don't stand up for ourselves, if we don't do anything, we're kind of headed in a, in, onto a bad path here. She remembers these bits and she's like, oh, yeah, she was right. And her eldest son, who, frankly, is horrible... Um, she's like, oh yeah, he's my son, but you know, he's really into this pure thing and into this whole religious thing and you can't really hate him. I just find her, like, wouldn't you be 
angry, like angrier. Like I read this and it made me so angry. I, you know, every time I turned the page and every time I found out something else that this, this religious government had imposed in their thoughts and kind of their, their religious doctrine, it made me angry. And I just found the female characters in this book and also even the male characters, like her husband, he's so, uh, he, I'll get to that in there, but like, just, in the beginning, he's so complicit and just, they just seem to sort of accept it. And it really frustrated me and it kind of, and I kind of went, is this possible? Is it like, would, would you just kind of accept to like, well, this is sort of the way things are. I just, I just don't believe that for a second. And I, it, 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 ah, it really annoyed me. And then with the characters in this book, so she, the, the, the female is the main character, I've actually forgotten her name, um, is, is the main character, uh, Gianna, Jean. Um, she, yeah, she, even even when she then decides I I need to do something here, I feel it's like the male the male characters that are still driving her to do that. And the other aspect that I hated in this book was this, and spoiler alert. So if you don't want to hear that, wait till I hold the book back up. Um, she has an affair with one of her colleagues, uh, one of her scientific colleagues that she used to work on these research these um, research programs with. And he's Italian, and she, the the the, oh God, the sex scenes and the way she's oh in love with him, but you know she has her husband and her like four kids, and the fact that in the end he is more the one that's pushing her to do something, and it feels like all the her her driving force is still around this man and these men and. And I just, I just kind of goes against the whole idea of, you know, women of being oppressed, they, they need to stand up for themselves. And that's what I thought this was going to be. I thought there was going to be an uprising, you know, I thought there was going to be that. You can demute or, um, but yeah, so, so she, I, I thought the women were going to be more powerful in this and, and really go, no, we're, we're, we're gonna, there's going to be an uprising. But I still felt like the male characters were still driving even that. Um, and they seem to all get redemption arcs in a way like her husband gets a bit of a redemption arc and her horrible son gets a redemption arc um and it still feels like you know it, it, there's just be like the the women never really fight back i i just didn't feel i uh, it just made me angry and frustrated this book because it could have been so good um also, there's, there's one bit in the story where the, the woman that she talks about a lot at college who used to be, um, uh, you know, to protest and go on TV and talk about women's rights. And I like her character. She's the character that I like in the book. And she is a lesbian and she gets put in, in one of these camps, in one of these working camps that I, I would basically describe as a concentration camp. And <laughs> again, slight spoiler here, towards the end of the book, when she's sort of out of this camp. Again, you would expect this woman to be furious, right? You would have expected her to just want to, you know, yeah, get revenge. The first thing she says, and I've realized it's meant to be humorous, but within the context of the storyline, the first thing she says is like, oh God, that was the worst spa break I've ever had. You know, you're like, sorry, you, the world has gone to, hell you've been stuck in a concentration camp for gay people um women have been severely oppressed for the last year and that's the first thing you say hmm um yeah so i yeah yeah so 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 yes so i this and the more and the problem with this book is as well is when i first read it i was like i think i ended up I gave it immediately sort of three stars on Goodreads because I was like, well, it was still, you know, I obviously I read it. Um, I wanted to see what happens in the end. I, I, you know, it did. It, it kept me engaged, if nothing else, because I was annoyed and angry. Um, but actually, I'm going to have to bump that down because just in the sense that I don't think it was I, ju I don't think it was handled that well. And, and maybe the fact that it made me angry, that's what it was trying to achieve. But I don't know. I just don't know. I think maybe in another author's hands it could have been better. This is a debut novel. Maybe that's the problem. But I just, it, yeah, so much of it made me angry. Um, 
so much of it I just went I don't I, this is not plausible what no like why would people just sit back and let this happen why would the rest of the world just sit back and let this happen and and you you're just not angry enough and I'm not an angry person but my god it made me angry um and it, it would make m most normal people angry can you can you just imagine if if suddenly one day you know that was the society we lived in so yes so those are my thoughts on Vox. Um, positive, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous hardback book. And actually, when you take the cover off, it's very pretty. Um, but yeah, other than that, this is this is going to be a two-star read for me. But maybe maybe it's good that it made me angry because it certainly brought out some emotions. Um, but yeah, that is my... Sorry, I had to get that out. So that is my... That is my review on Vox. Um, let me know what you think. If you've read it, if you have a different opinion, let me know. If you see it in a different light, let me know. Um, yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think of it. So, anyway, thanks for listening to me rant if you're still listening. Have a good day, and I will speak to you guys again soon. Bye.